Hey gang, Paul Campanero, real estate coach and trainer, here today to talk about another golden rule. Motivation equals cooperation. Motivation equals cooperation. So on my notes here, I wrote down, uh, buyers not cooperating, right? You ever been in an open house and someone walks in and they're not necessarily receptive to cooperating with signing in? You ever had that problem? Or when they're walking out, your ability to continue a conversation. You ever have that problem when they're just not into you? Right? How about sellers when you're talking about price? Or how about uh, a price uh, a price reduction, uh, not, not cooperating with the price reduction? Or how about the negotiation process? And I'm just not getting enough cooperation in the negotiation process. Man, that can be tough. And it all boils back down to motivation, right? Your ability to understand your client, right? To really be able to go deeper on the who, what, where, why, and how of their motivation. See, this is cause and effect like we talked about on another golden rule, your ability to dig in and have a good conversation, okay? So I wrote down on my notes here, uh, why do they resist? Why are they resisting you? Well, first of all, you're a salesperson. And the stereotypes on salesperson isn't necessarily the best, right? And second of all, you're a stranger, right? Remember what mom said about strangers? Stranger danger. So you're a salesperson and you're a stranger. Man, this is a double whammy. The level of trust is low. So I have to speed that level of trust and be able to uh, let them know that I'm there to help them. That I'm intensely curious, right? To understand them so that I can get them to their goals and this is not just about me and what I can do and how great I am and how great my company is. This is really about making a connection with another human being. So I have here, uh, ask great questions, ask them well and listen carefully. Ask great questions, ask them well and listen carefully. Look, if you're prospecting and you haven't communicated at a high level, you didn't set the tone for being intensely curious, it's gonna be tough for them to uh, tr have a higher level of trust because you're just service-oriented. Service you're prioritizing the process over the prospect. And when I say prioritizing the process, I mean you're going through the motions, right? You're asking the question as you would, uh, so, as a poor telemarketer would on a survey, right? You're going through the presentation in motions versus really digging in and setting the tone that you intensely care and that, uh, and, that you, and that you're digging for their motivation, you understand their motivation, you're leveraging what you can bring to the table so that uh, you, they can understand how, their, how your service is valuable to get, them, uh, to, to get them to their motivation, basically, right? So when you're asking great questions, you really, are, uh, you really have a focus, a sincerity of uh, who they are and what's important to them and digging deeper, right? There's some great questions in the script, but when you ask questions really well, I mean, there's a tonality, there's something in your voice, there's facial expressions that make them understand that, you're, that you really wanna understand them, that you really, really, really wanna know, then that connection's made. You have the ability to go deeper to really get to the root of the motivation because look, because you're the salesperson and the stranger, man, aren't they going to be a little bit more susceptible to giving you vague answers, to not really telling you the truth? Has that ever happened to you before? Somebody not tell you the truth and then later on in the transaction, you go, whoa, where'd that come from? Right? So uh, your ability to ask questions well so that they understand you care. Now, listening carefully is the last part of that element there. So I ask great questions, I ask them well, and then I listen carefully. Now again, there's some great questions on the scripts, the motivation script, the bridge, the, the bridge scripts that we have in Real Sales Talk that you can download for free on the uh, Real Sales Talk uh, 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 Facebook page. But look, the, usually the best questions are the questions that when you're listening carefully, you're asking, uh, you're taking another inch based on what they give us. Because look, they always give us inches to work with. Right? What's an inch? An inch is a space. It's a small space. They always give us spaces to work. Even though they may be small spaces, if I'm asking good questions, I'm asking them well, I'm listening carefully so that I can ask another good question, right? Rinse, repeat, to what they just said. And then, man, my ability to dig deep on the motivation, have a thorough understanding 
so I can figure out, you know, what's going on here and how can I, I help. Then I'm looking at my ability to leverage them for that appointment, right? To uh, go back to the motivation on the price reduction and my life becomes a lot easier. Certainly the service, the quality of the service raises and your ability to provide that service is clearly understood. Look, I have motivation, I have everything. I don't have motivation, I have nothing. My job becomes a lot more difficult. Go out there, have great conversations. Paul Campanero, real estate coaching trainer, make it a great day. This is exclusive.